I'm Ulysses. Everyone in my life right now is insane. I've been camping online for money. I'm super excited about the show coming out in 2019. Um, I feel like we live in really just a dark, black, horrible age, you know, ever since 2016. And um, it's really just, you know, make America terrible again, <laughs> you know, put everybody back in the closet and like make everything full of fear and shame and just horribleness. And I really feel like this show is just like a ray of light in this darkness. And I'm so proud of it and so happy to be putting it out in the world because I think we need this show like now more than ever. I've been making indie movies for like 25, 30 years, yeah. and um, my indie movies have tended to be very kind of a little crazy, a little punk rock, um, very independent. And um, the the show is very much sort of a culmination of like all my films and all the themes and all the ideas and all of the um, imagery and just what I'm interested in. It's very pure and uh, creative in that way. And so when I sat down to do the show, it was literally just like, if I can make my dream show, what would it be? It would be half an hour set in LA with, and like these like four, like 25 year olds and they have you know these sexual adventures and there's this weird David Lynchian kind of surreal element to it. And maybe there's alien. Yeah, <laughs> it, it just sort of became like, it was literally just me thinking of like the ultimate show and not really feeling like, Maybe this would get on the air, but maybe not. <laughs> I mean, it was really just, what would this dream show be? And um, I had met Carly. We were working together on a, a little indie movie that she had written that I was attached to produce and direct. And so we met her. I met her like five years ago, and we just became, instantly hit it off and became friends. We're very much of kind of kindred spirits. We both are very interested in sex and sexuality and really feel like that's it's not just about like, being titillating or being you know uh, subversive or whatever it's really that sexuality is a very important part of who you are and figuring out wh who you are where you're going to be like it's just a, a very big part of life and I, I feel like a lot of people are really afraid of it and ashamed of it and there's all you know religion and all society and all, all there's so much stigma attached to sexuality and when i met carly we just really hit it off because we both have a very similar view on about that. And so uh, I literally just said, I'm working on this spec script. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> it could just go nowhere. But would you be interested in working on it with me? And she's like, yeah, sure. So um, we wrote the spec script. Um, I showed it to Greg Jacobs, who I had worked with on Red Oaks. He's partners with Steve Soderbergh. And it happened like that. And like stars just screamed at us like right away. They were stars, as I think at the, at the time, was very interested in expanding their market a little bit and um, sort of um, attracting a younger like millennial crowd. Or um, and so this was kind of right. And they'd also just launched their app, which is which is tending to skew younger than some mm -hmm. of their shows. So the head of the, the network just said, "This is exactly the show we're looking for right now." And they it happened so quickly, my blew my mind. You know, it, we spent a long time casting. Um, I actually kind of wrote the part of Ulysses for Avin. We'd done a short film together, and I just love his... He just has a really cool vibe. He's just a cool kid, and um, I think he's so soulful, and I really wanted to ground the show in that kind of presence. You know, we had a very rigorous casting process, and we just got super lucky and just got the most awesome and amazing and gorgeous cast ever. So we just, you know... It, this, I hate to say the same joke, but the stars literally just lined up. You know, <laughs> the, show, the show is very blessed in that way. In terms of inspiration, um, counterintuitively, some of what we were inspired by was what we weren't seeing on television. Um, the show is super sex positive, very feminist. These characters are extremely sexually adventurous, thrill seeking. They see sex as um, uh, inherent to their identity and a way of learning about themselves and other people in the world. And they're very sexually resilient. I think a lot of times now, um, you know, when you see a woman who has a lot of sex on television, it's somehow, you know, it, it ends badly for her. You know, she becomes a, somehow a victim of her sexuality. And the women on the show are super sexually powerful. They have a lot of agency. 
they're sexually resilient. And I, and I feel like for me growing up, I would have loved, it would have been so beneficial for me to see women like that on television. Um, and yeah. Yeah. And the same thing, I think with the, the queer character that Adam plays, I think it's just a, I mean, I know from my years of making movies that the, you know, I told Adam and Tyler this, it's just like, you don't understand how important this show is going to be to some lonely kid living out there in Idaho somewhere, you know, who doesn't feel like, he just feels different and he doesn't feel like he fits in. And it's just like this, and that's one of the things that's I'm so excited about is that, you know, having never done a TV show, you know, TV is such a, you know, medium of the people, you know, it really, you know, when you do independent movies, you know, my movies have gotten to these kind of cult followings of the years, but it, they're hard to see. You know, you have to live in some sort of metropolitan area. It's just, but TV is just beamed out like everywhere, all over the world, you know, every nook and cranny. So I feel like it's going to reach people that would never, don't know what Sundance is, don't know what independent cinema, you know, it's going to reach a whole different audience that I think really could use what this show is about. Yeah, and also, you really don't see much male bisexuality or male sexual fluidity on television. And I think it's really valuable for young people to be able to see that in this character who's very unapologetic about his sexual desires. Um, and I think that that will be really powerful. Life is about taking risks when it counts. It's so fairy tale slash vintage gay porn. Living the dream!